And with that noise, it means it's time for some more Miracle Rouge. Miracle Rouge it will be. Mm -mm -mm. Winner of the Hearthstone Beauty Pageant, Miss Lethal. Uh, we, I guess, want just the Auctioneer. Auctioneer seems good. Let me tell you something. Preparation Fan and I is one of my absolute favorites. Give me all the damn cards. We don't have any really good tools to deal with aggression right now. I am not going to use the Deadly Poison. Or I'm not going to uh, hit him in the face because I have Deadly Poison. So I can hit him in all his cards. Back to war. Oh! Do I want to hold on to that? I think I do. We go. Works so well with the gadget Zan. And doesn't really work many other ways. Is there any reason why I would... So technically I have the mana to be able to throw down the deadly poison, but next turn I want to be able to deadly poison and eviscerate in the same turn. Alright, well, I think this is a more clear combo. Still gonna hold on to this. So I can also Gadget Zin, Backstab, Shadow Step. Which may very well be not bad at all. And I think, is that what we're gonna do this turn? Probably not. Backstab with the gadgets is so great. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna knock that down. I wanna wait, wait just a smidge. That might have to just go now. Yeah, I think I'm going to make it backstab and then just kill it. We have a lot of potential to draw cards, but have yet to quite do it. I'd like to save my shadow steps a little bit. Um, that works so well with Leroy. And the SI7 agent, if we're in a tight spot. He's got a lot of cards. Is that nine cards? Jeez. Jeez! Stabbed his dragon! Stabbed his dragon in his back! Rawr! Feral dog! I believe it'll cast Feral dog! Oh, thank goody goodness. Gosh, glorious, gracious me, oh my. So first, give me that. Can we get a conceal, please? Can we get a conceal, please? Oh! Here we go. Got him. I like it. Boom. Boom. You see that? You see that? You see? Was it lucky or was it the fact that I'm RN Jesus? I was walking on water until I walked onto a conceal. What are you gonna do? When you have a deck like this, I mean, we always had the Shadow Step. 10% actually. 2 out of 20? It's pretty good. Oh, now that is, that's... That's lucky, is what that is. Uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, I can hit... Mm, 
All right, well, let's see what we draw. Okay. So I'm trying to make sure I have enough mana open to kill that if need be. So this is going to draw me a lot of cards. All right, well, there's Edwin. There we go. Perfect. This just sucks for him so much. The Brotherhood shall protect you soon. <laughs> oh my god. Am I Jesus? I am a monster. I am an awful person. God, I just I I wanna throw up right now. Can you believe this? And then with Shadow Step Leroy and Sap in hand? Jesus. Yeah, lightning bolt, that's fine. Just your stormy lightning shit. Doesn't matter because I'm way too lucky. I'm far too lucky. Cast Lightning Storm. Kill the Gadgets in. Totally fine. Kill the Gadgets in. Totally fine by me. I'm gonna draw with him, and I bet he's even gonna stay alive. Nope. Oh, Alright, we won anyways. Alright. First we hit, and then we play this. And then we hit him. And then we return this to the hand. We have to make sure we don't misclick, otherwise we lose. But given that I misclick in this game frequently, this guy's toast. we lucked out and managed to kill him. Easy peasy. It's a very fun little deck. You know, I was refusing to play this. And now that I'm playing it, I'm like, well, yeah, I should do that. I don't know what sort of gamer you are, but me, like, the way I like to play games, if there's something that's, like, clear and good and great, I don't like to spend my efforts there. I like to dabble in something that is more unexplored, more in, in tune with my style and how I want to express myself via the game. I will fight with honor. Watch your back. I want this. So I was ignoring this for a while. Just totally. Like, I like the little paladin deck I'm working on. It's a little more aggressive. Small and confident. I don't think it's going to be nearly as successful as this, but I really like this. Oh, yeah. Give me the backstabs. Give me the backstabs. Summon a little dude. Summon a little one. I think I'm gonna have to shiv right away. I feel icky. I, I mean, quite honestly, I feel icky. All right. I know what I have to do. Job's done. Job's done. Yes, me love. Okay. What to Get do? In there and fight, now, I could use Fan of Knives, but instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to backstab and play this guy. Because not only do I think that that's overall a better play, like I have a 3 3 on the board, but these decks rely a lot on Divine Favor. And if I used Fan of Knives, I would have had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 cards in hand. So we would have been able to draw at least 4. And I don't like that. Beautiful! Beautiful! He only gets to draw two cards instead of drawing four cards. fan frickin -tastic. Hey, lights out. Alright. So I paused a little bit there because I want to make sure that, I, that two things are true. One, that I have enough mana to cast two cards so I can combo Eviscerate if I need to. Um, very clearly I do. But also, there's a number of ways I could have spent all the mana that I had in my hand. And I want to get Thalmos out. I 
to have a lot of these spell power things. I am going to hit it. No need to use that conceal. Uh, I don't really want to cold blood that. The reason this deck, this uh, Paladin deck, has been working really well um, protects me. is because there's a number of cards that just hit whatever, like Equality Consecrate will hit stealth things, doesn't matter. Well, this is not particularly of value yet. Against really aggressive decks, it's totally fine to run out the naked Falnos. Falnos is much more valuable for the card draw in this deck than it is for the spell power. I feel like the spell power is more incidental in this circumstance than otherwise. Get in there and fight, maggot! He is hurting. Reporting for duty. Uh, how do we want to do this? More, more soul. All right. I am really not drawing the cards that I need to be drawing right now. <laughs> like all these saps for his charge minions. I have all the conceals for my no minions. Still. Oh man, come on. D is this is this really what this is now? Is this what this is fucking become, right? Like what? I'm gonna die next turn to avenging arrows and a charger. I just I need one of my dudes. Oh! If we draw Leroy, not only do we win, but we're an asshole. Did I lie? No, wait, I don't have Shadow Step. Sorry. Confuse, conceal, Shadow Step all the time. There's the Avenging Arrows. Oh, he's got a golden Avenging Arrows. Oh, never mind. This guy's good. Oh, wait. Wait, hold on. Hold on, there is yet hope. There it is. Well. Send you back to the hand. Let's 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 toast this guy. Ha! That guy's toast. All right. I think I got him. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. You know what? Take that. Maybe I should have sapped both of them and SI7 his face. I sapped the 1-1 one, one because I don't have any way to remove the 1-1. One, one. Uh-oh. Alright, we're alive so far. Oh, shit. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, man. Well, you know, alright. No big deal. He's, he's okay, he's no problem. By the way, that deck is right here. The Jerkadin. Right there. <laughs> it's really, really, really fun. Uh, look up the Shockadin. Shockadin, I believe, is the name of it. Made by a World of Warcraft player. He used to play a Shock Paladin. Was there a point to equality? No. But this is Kraparian's evil influence. Kraparian made a point to say that you should always deal as much overkill damage and play as many cards as you should, or as many cards as you can, on the turn that you're guaranteed to win anyways. And therefore, you can make them feel the pain. And uh, ever since that point in time, like, almost every single game I've played online has been exactly that experience. 
Ooh. That's what Sean likes to see. Mr. Agent. I think I should be using my saps a lot more often in that matchup. Much, much more than I was doing it there. I have a lot of juicy ammo for our Gadgetson. What's he going to do? Pay attention, class. All right, it is a Tokan Druid. I am ready to learn. I think I kill this guy. Um, sapping is gonna work. Is there how many taunts does this deck run? I think it runs two. I think this is the right play. I think it is. <laughs> this guy's here. We go. I think that's right. I think that was the correct play because I can sap it which effectively causes him to lose four mana again this turn. Um, as well as to have spent his Innervate. Um, but I think that's probably better to run that out anyways. Here we go. I don't want to use the poison right here, even though I clearly can, because not only is it good ammunition for the gadgets in, but there's a lot of things that have five health that I can actually uh, use my face to kill. That is great news. All right, he's going to be in a lot of trouble here. All right. Oh, Blade Flurry. Oh, yeah. Okay, we've drawn Leroy. Uh, this is perfect. Fan of Knives will draw us two cards. We have a lot of damage that we can deal now. Okay. Okay, cool. I thought he was going to be hitting. Uh, he's dangerously close to being able to Savage Roar me. Let's see. So I'm going to do one of these. Do one of these. Let's see. Yeah. Looks like we're gonna run out of steam. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. So we have nine cards, so we'll go to ten cards. It's not exactly ideal. Here I am going to go. hit him and hit him. So he's at 23. And then next turn we can hit him for a bunch. I'm gonna run this guy out as well. We can shiv him. Which one's better? Wait, 6 and 12 and 5. I don't think I can quite kill him, but I think this is nifty. I can shadow step again, but I'm going to save that for, the, for Le Roi. I've got the beast in my side. Alright. I'm very worried about the fact that he could... Okay, we're out of Savage Roar range again. Yay! Huh.
We're still out of the Savage Roar combo range. So many options. All right. I think we got him. We likely have him. We'll rise against you. I don't think I had lethal this turn. Because Leroy and 2x. So, and then if he has an innervate, then. against you. No! <laughs> no, damn it. Oh, crap. Man. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> I was sitting there. I had the prayer. Come on. Come on. I think, in general, I need to be looking to deal a little bit more damage to his face. Just a little bit more. Oh, that was so close. 14 is the magical number against a druid. That is the Force of Nature Savage Roar combo, where out of the blue, 14 damage. With just two cards. So I'm against a Warlock, so I think I'm going to nix these dudes. This is very much so a late game card. This is not nearly as good against aggro as you'd want to believe. I kind of want to keep the gadgets in. But I think that's too bold. I know this deck relies a lot on gadgets in, and I'm going to take a risk. I actually believe that that play is probably incorrect to have kept that gadgets in. I think it's probably more correct. Um, you need a blessing? This is this is probably the most correct play. I do not want to... ...sabotage my backstab on something that just has one health. Hmm. Alright, we're against Andrezor. Andrezor. Yeah, holding the gadgets in I think is probably going to be a losing play against an aggressive deck like this. Do you need a blessing? Oh, crud butts. Okay. This stinks to do, but I'm gonna do it. Here we go. Really love me some preparation with Fan and Knives. Said that way at the start of the show, and I still agree with myself. Oh, Leah the Shadow and Jimmy Gozinia. Welcome to the Day Nights. <laughs> Markio, who's in charge of the better bot. <laughs> Has chosen an oh so fine assortment of phraseologies. Very clear play, since it's up to Fan of Knives in the next toy. Hmm. I'm actually curious, like how how do you spend money in Hearthstone? <laughs> it's time for a little Because I mean like for me I just sort of Why do you go? I exploded right out the gate and just bought a bunch of stuff. Oh, this is a, just a big pile of crap. This just sucks. 
Huh. Wow, that blows. Think I gotta do it. Pope Mike, what up? Welcome to the day nights. Yeah, I mean, do you guys just, like, largely play Arena? Because when I first got the game, I just bought a bunch of packs, and there it was. Spending money in this game is... Gets you a lot of advances. Oh, but... Probably dead here. I don't think there's any... Thing that I can do that will assist me here? I don't think so, because I'm going to take 7 damage. So I die to most things. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm dead here. My shield for <laughs> That's real bad news. It's okay, we'll draw a lot of cards before we, before we dip out. All right, we're just we're just giving him the well played. Well played. So our second segment didn't go very well. It's all right. Ain't no thing. Go back to where we began the day with. But the the best part about the Miracle Rogue is that when we return, we're gonna win three whole times in a row, giving us the streaks. The Windex will be not upon us. Hmm. Because nothing's gonna stop this streaking. We'll be back.